So when I was asked to write the script for Kube, aka The Sadness, um, I was originally asked to write a zombie film. And I was like, man, I don't want to write a zombie film. That's been done to death. And there's what else can really be said um, with zombies? So I was looking around and I, and I was trying to think about some stuff that maybe met the criteria, the, you know, human on human violence and maybe the epidemic aspects of a zombie movie. And, uh, and I thought, oh, you know, there's a comic that I used to really like called Crossed by Garth Ennis. And I looked through it and the people in the comic, the infected are pretty much uh, zombies, except that they also uh, are horny. But like, they don't really speak very much and they don't really express themselves very much. They, they very much act like zombies, except that they're horny. <laughs> so I, uh, what, I, what I decided to do is sort of take that idea, but I wanted to, to um, give them a little more agency, a little more personality. So in the end, uh, we came up with sort of something that I feel is new, where we have um, the virus in the movie makes you become the worst version of yourself, but you're still able to think and to be lucid and to, and to uh, express yourself. And, and I, made, I made sure that all of our infected people have a lot of dialogue and we really get a sense of how they think and how they, how they communicate and how they relate to other people and sort of get, get an idea of what's going on in their heads. So um, that's really where the idea came from. And, in, and effectively what we did was we ended up making memorable villains, which is something that I, I felt was always missing in zombie movies. Like you don't really have memorable villains. So. I think that it was successful. One of the other challenges uh, when writing the movie was um, trying to think of a scenario in which uh, Taiwan would suffer a pandemic because Taiwan has uh, historically done so well managing, well, especially the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So when I was confronted with the task, it was like, well, the, the story is that a you know, virus happens and it gets taken care of within a week, you know? So we had to kind of, think about it and the, um, the answer to the problem was just we have to make a new Taiwan. We have to make a Taiwan where people are more distrustful of the, of the government and don't trust experts and think they know more than um, uh, professionals like doctors and scientists and things. So um, essentially we had to make Taiwan a little more like um, America and uh, that's, that was really when everything came together and all of a sudden I understood what the movie was about.